From ancient giants to mystical marvels, the planet is home to some truly extraordinary specimens from approximately 73,300 species worldwide. In this video, join us as we count down the top 10 most unusual tree species from around the globe. Number 10, Socotra dragon tree. So there's this funky one called the Socotra dragon tree and seriously, the name screams fairy tale vibes, right? It's this evergreen tree chilling only in Yemen's Katra archipelago, ancient and respected, with its super unique look and some wild red sap that's more like oozing than flowing. Its branches spread out like a giant umbrella, totally standing out in this ancient landscape, almost like something from a movie set in a mystical world. This tree's got some magical properties. The red sap, people have been using it for ages to treat all sorts of stuff, from tummy troubles to making violins shine. I mean, we're talking about varnishing violins, dyeing wool, gluing pottery, and even dabbling in makeup and toothpaste. It's the only place on the planet where you'll find these bad boys growing, but with climate change doing its thing and the mainland dealing with its own issues, the future of this unreal spot is up in the air. Number four, rainbow eucalyptus tree. These guys are something else. Meet the rainbow eucalyptus, a speedy grower soaring up 60 to 75 meters high. Picture smooth bark that sheds in colorful strips, revealing streaks of green, red, orange, gray, and purplish brown. Its branches sport squared off ends, sometimes with narrow wings. When it's blooming time, you'll find buds arranged in clusters, each with a posse of seven and their stamens paint the flowers in white and pale yellow hues. The fruit, think woody brown capsules, each packed with tiny brown seeds sporting a little wing. And why is everyone so keen on planting it? Well, besides being a showstopper in gardens from Hawaii to Florida, it's a go-to for pulpwood, making it the VIP of white paper production in places like the Philippines. Plus, if you've got the right climate and green thumb, you can try your hand at growing one yourself. Just make sure it's warm and frost-free with plenty of sun and moisture. Number eight, quaking aspen tree. These beauties are like the stars of North America with their eye-catching white bark and adorable heart-shaped leaves that flutter in the breeze, hence the name. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Aspens often hang out in big groups called groves because they have this super cool way of spreading underground through their root. Believe it or not, what looks like a regular forest is actually one massive living organism. This particular grove called Pando in Utah's Fish Lake National Forest is been growing for ages. We're talking about like 880,000 years. Number seven, maple tree. Ah, the maple tree, a true icon. You've probably seen its distinctive leaves all over the place, maybe even on the Canadian flag. It's like the poster child for beauty, resilience, and the magic of changing seasons. What's cool is that there are tons of different types of maple trees, over 100 species in fact, and let me tell you, when fall rolls around, these trees really know how to put on a show. The leaves turn into this stunning kaleidoscope of colors, from fiery reds to vibrant yellows. It's like nature's own fireworks display, and it draws in folks from all over, especially those funny folks in America known as leaf peepers. But wait, there's more to maple trees than just their pretty leaves. They're big players in both culture and economy. Take the sugar maple, for example. Its sweet sap is the star ingredient in maple syrup, the pride and joy of North America. Number six, angel oak tree. The angel oak tree, it's like a living legend down in South Carolina, just a stone's throw away from Charleston. This majestic oak is one of the oldest in the South and folks flock from all over to marvel at its beauty. Can you believe this tree has been around for 400 years or more? That's some serious history. It's grown to be a whopping 66 and a half feet tall, which is like six stories high, and its trunk measures a hefty 28 feet in circumference. And get this, its longest branch stretches out to be a staggering 187 feet. But here's where things get really interesting. The angel oak has a spooky side. Legend has it that it's haunted with tales of its ties to the area's dark past of slavery. Some say vultures once feasted on the bodies of slaves hung from its branches, casting a curse upon the tree. Others believe it was sacred Native American ground, adding to its mystique. Number five, orca palm. Orca palm, also known as the butterfly palm or bamboo palm, hails from Madagascar and other spots in the Indian Ocean. You've probably seen them around. They're those lush palm trees that add a tropical vibe to any space. Indoors, they usually grow to be about six to seven feet tall, perfect for adding some greenery to your home decor. But in their natural habitat outdoors, they can reach up to a towering 20 feet. Aside from their good looks, orca palms are also 
great at cleaning up the air. They are like natural purifiers, getting rid of indoor pollutants like formaldehyde and benzene. Who knew, right? Now I'm thinking I should get one for my place too. Number 4. Banyan Trees Unlike most trees that grow from the ground, banyan trees start their journey as epiphytes. This means that their seeds germinate within the cracks or grooves of a host tree. But here's where it gets really interesting. As the banyan grows, its branches and roots completely take over the host tree. Eventually, the host tree dies off, leaving behind a hollow central trunk where the banyan has enveloped it. The story doesn't end there. Banyan trees often grow far larger than the trees they originally are latched onto. Take the Great Banyan in India, for example. It's over 250 years old and has a mind-blowing 1,080-foot circumference. In fact, it's so massive that a road was built around its perimeter, which is now covered in its new growth. Number 3. Bristlecone Pine These trees are like the tough cookies of the plant world, with some specimens believed to be over 5,000 years old. Yep, yeah, you heard that right. They are the oldest known living organisms on the planet. Now, what's really cool about bristlecone pines is that they thrive in some pretty harsh conditions. While other plants struggle, these guys are perfectly at home in rocky terrain with minimal rainfall. You'll find them scattered throughout the US, standing tall where nothing else will. Number 2. Bujum Tree This one is a truly fascinating plant that's right at home in the desert regions of the Baja California Peninsula and Sonora, Mexico. This tree is like something out of a fairy tale, perfectly adapted to the harsh desert environment where it thrives. Standing up to 70 feet tall, the Bujum Tree has a truly unique appearance. Picture this, it's often described as resembling an upside down carrot with spiny twigs all over, and when it blooms, it's a sight to behold. Yellow flowers that give off a sweet honey scent, attracting all sorts of insects. Now here's where things get even more interesting. The locals, known as the Seri people, have their own name for these trees, the Kotox. They believe that touching one will conjure up powerful winds, so they steer clear of them when traveling through the desert. Number 1. Djibouti Kaaba Tree Djibouti Kaaba Tree It's a bit of a rebel when it comes to fruit-bearing trees. You know how most fruits grow on branches? Well, not this one. Native to Mexico and part of South America, these trees are famous for their purple fruits that grow right on their trunks, kind of like grapes. Djibouti Kaaba trees are slow growers, starting off with pink leaves and then turning green as they mature. They can reach heights of up to 50 feet and produce beautiful white flowers, followed by those unique trunk-grown fruits. In the wild, they fruit once or twice a year, but in cultivation, they can fruit continuously thanks to the stable climate. Now let's talk about the fruits themselves. They are about the size of golf balls with thick skins and four seeds inside. The flesh is either white or pink with a sweet taste that's just delicious. You'll often find them in markets across South America but they don't last long so they are often turned into jams, wines and liquors for export. So which of these amazing trees wowed you the most? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, check out some other cool stuff on your screen. Catch you later.